Hey, it's Kathy from Fit Kitty Tries, and today I have another print on demand tutorial for you. This one goes out to my fellow Top Seller Secret seller, Elizabeth. So, if you don't know about Top Seller Secret, it is the program I'm part of. Um, it's where I learned a lot of what I do in print on demand, and it's with Brittany Lewis. Um, I can't wait till she has an affiliate program set up because I really think her stuff is top notch. So, I highly recommend you check her out if you don't know about her already. But today, we're going to be talking about how to edit mock ups in Canva when the model has this lovely hair happening, you know. But um, a good mock up artist will do their best to kind of make sure there's no crinkles in the front. It's really easy to place your design right on top, but sometimes it's kind of cute to have that hair going there, but it does interfere with your design. So we're going to talk about how to edit parts of the design so that the hair looks like it's over top of the design in Canva. I normally do this in Photopea, which is a free Photoshop alternative, just because it's a little bit easier to get a more detailed feathered look with the hair. So let's give it a go. But before we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I love making these videos for people who have questions about how to do stuff because I can't come up with ideas for videos on my own. So leave me a comment if there's something you're wondering how to do, or I will see you inside Top Seller Secret. If you have questions, I love making videos videos for you guys. All right, so let's get ourselves set up in Canva here. Obviously, you're going to need the Canva Pro subscription for this tutorial as well as a mock-up. I grabbed this mock-up from Creative Fabrica. They have a ton of really great mock-ups. Obviously, with the advent of AI, there's a lot of AI mock-ups, so you do need to kind of go through them just the same as you would with any mock-up store. But if you want some awesome mock-ups that are basically free, you can check out my Pinterest. I've pinned all the ones I use from Creative Fabrica, and it's a subscription that costs like $4, which is basically nothing. So far, I've made $0 from like pushing it on my YouTube. Um, it'd be nice to make some money, but I pay for it out of my own pocket and use it all the time. It's got different mock-ups, and so I grabbed a mock-up from there. And then I also grabbed a font. I wanted a collegiate type font. You can filter by fonts, you can filter by graphics. They have stuff that has a print on demand license where you can just use it as is. We're going to grab this super cute baseball grunge font here and we're just going to upload that to our Canva. Again, you need the pro subscription to do that. All right, let's go ahead and start making our design. You can skip ahead if you want, but one of Brittany's really great tricks for designing is to always design on a canvas that's the same color as the shirt you're working with. So one trick to get the same color as the shirt is to scroll down to the bottom here, and I've already added my mock-up photo, and so I can just select that color right here. Don't worry, that's one of her free tips that she's given away in her free content, so I'm not in any trouble for sharing it. Um, but let's go ahead and add some text here. I just want to create a cute little collegiate style font. We're going to go with sunshine and then I'm going to add the curve effect here. Perfect. From there, you're just going to export your design just like you would any other design. Again, you need that pro feature to get the transparent background. And then we'll go ahead and upload it so we can place it onto this mock-up. Okay, so I've gone ahead and placed my mock-up there. Just make sure you turn down the transparency a little bit so it looks a little bit more realistic. And then the first option for editing this so that the hair comes through is to click on your design and go to edit photo and use the magic eraser tool to erase where the hair is. It's not my favorite option. It does work well for some designs, but you kind of have to go back and forth between looking at the design on the mock-up and then going to the magic eraser tool. So it doesn't look terrible once you zoom out, especially it looks okay, but the preferred way of doing this is to just place the design on top. Again, turn down that transparency once you're happy with where it is, and then export the entire mock-up with it over top of the hair, and then I'll show you what we do next. Okay, so I've gone ahead and uploaded the photo of the mock-up, and we're gonna place it over top, but first I'm gonna get rid of the design so that the background actually doesn't have the design on it. Go ahead and line it up. Once you've done that, we're going to use the background remover tool to make some of this mock-up transparent in order to show through the hair. So once we've applied the background remover tool, we can click on the settings here and we can get a little bit more specific about what we want to make transparent. So go ahead and scroll in and then change the brush size to something more appropriate. From there, we'll start erasing where the hair is. You can also turn on this show original image feature where you can see um, what is behind so that you make sure you get all of the places you want to be erased. Be a little bit there as well. 
And then this is the finished effect. So because we made that piece transparent and we've placed it over top of the blank one, we can now see through and what we see is the hair here. So you can see the spots that I erased. Again, it's not exactly perfect. You can scroll in and see, maybe I need to erase a little bit more there and a little less there which if you want to be really specific, you can do that. Again, you can restore some of this here. And I want to erase a little bit more there. We'll go ahead and take a look there. That looks much better. All right, and now when we zoom out, so that is the one where we layered on top of a blank and made some of the image transparent. And this is the one where we just went ahead and erased part of the design itself. So it's not quite as exact. They're both really good methods to get the hair to show through. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. I do tend to do this kind of effect in PhotoP, which is the free version of Photoshop. But as Brittany, who's my print on demand teacher and self-appointed mentor because she does so much good mindset stuff, says is that just doing your mockups in Canva is totally fine. There's no need to agonize over the tiny little details. Just make it simple. Use Canva to do your designs, export them, keep your mockups in Canva, and then just put your designs on them and then export all of those and upload them to Etsy. So it doesn't have to be super complicated. Um, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave me a comment and make sure you are subscribed for more videos like this. I love Love talking about my print on demand journey as well as all of my other side hustles and different things I'm doing to achieve financial freedom so I can retire early, have that passive income, and keep being my own boss because I've been doing it for a while, a couple of years now, and I love it. Not to mention how fun print on demand is. So I'm so excited to be sharing more of these tutorials. Make sure you let me know if there's one you want to see or you're not sure how to achieve a certain effect. I would love to help you out and I love figuring these things out for you. Until the next video, thanks for watching.